Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all appropriate ages. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, which may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. So, I'm still full of cold because I'm recording this right after Monday's video that went out. But, as I said there, we had Nidus Prime, Strong Prime, Magnus Prime, and Gorsor. So that means fashion frame time. But, before we get into that, let's have a look at... Wow, I even have a spare Nidus? When did I get... I had a Nidus, and then I got another Nidus, and I put that into... Wadjaman. Helminth. Where did this Nidus pop up from? I didn't even notice this earlier. The hell? Huh. Alright. I'll take it, I guess. But... That's what it normally looks like, and then a mutation, which is pretty dope. I just try. Jesus, wet. That is horrifying. It's like he was holding in a sneeze. Hutsu. <laughs> Anywho. So, it is time for the Umbral, Obsidian, and Dex fashion frame. So let's just go ahead and change them up a bit. And if anyone's wondering what colour scheme I use or how I found colours similar or close to exact, because I've had people comment on previous Umbral and Obsidian fashion frame videos, I've done guides on those. So... Please go have a look at those if you want to. Oof. Looking somewhat more menacing. Detachments. I haven't even had a chance to play with Nidus Prime yet. And I think when I level him up, I'm not that far off Legendary 1. So, yeah. Sign Dana. Even though it's not Umbral, it came with Umbra. You guess the deck sign, Dana. Sigils, just because I'm between Perrin and Uloka. <coughs> and we're gonna hide it, just so we don't ruin the fashion frame. Looking pretty dandy. Oh and I did do the same to the Strong Prime. That has the Umbral Fashion Frame going on. Did do it to the Magnus Prime. And did it to the ghoul sword, which you can't really see that well because of this bloody posy pulls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here, lick my blade. <laughs> but, in between the last video and now, I did go ahead and obsidian him. Which, Jesus Christ, that looks awesome. And if we mutate... <laughs> and he's got all the obsidian azura armor on and the obsidian ephemera and I dexed him so you've got all the dex armor and the dex color scheme from Excalibur because dex Excalibur was the first dex skin we ever had What does that look like in mutation? 
that actually looks more Nidus like, just the black and the red there, just, oh, it looks so nice. And I did do that to the Strong Prime. And I did do it to the Magnus Prime, and I discovered something. So you've got that obsidian colour scheme there. But if I take this off, because... Magnus had an obsidian skin. Oh yeah, that's something I can think of. Digital Extremes. Uh, for all the prime weapons, if you add an extra skin onto them, can we toggle prime features, please? Like you can with Warframes. That would be nice, thank you. Just a suggestion out there, DE. Anywho. And then it's Dexed. And the ghoul sword, obviously, you can't see clearly because, and, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> this bloody pose. Right, so we are going to have to go into <coughs> Captura. Want a brightly coloured room? Grenier Forest Industry. I've never used this one. Let's go. Where's the coffee at? There it is. Should I really be drinking coffee with a cold? That's a stupid question. You should always drink coffee. Unless you prefer tea, but I'm a coffee person. Actually, uh, where is it? Uh, settings. Get a DOF off there. Uh, three lights set up. There we go. Right, so. Just a regular foot stomp. He looking angry, angry. You're reloading it into the side? since I used Ascend is square, okay. Oh, come on, come on. There's the magazine. Right, now the ghoul saw. Actually, there we go. That can be the thumbnail. <laughs> Just a cheap and quick thumbnail. Oh, 
I mean, the ghoul saw is fun, but it's not something you would take into the steel path or anything, in my opinion. It's just a fun weapon to use, but... Status build, but... Eh, there are better status weapons out there. He seems to enjoy it, though. Anyway, let's go to Obsidian. And let's take off these, because I really just want to focus on the Ghoul Sword, because we know how the Strun and the Magnus look. Actually... Oh, you can't use... All you can use is bloody... Yeah. But still, that looks dope. Anywho, <coughs> Obsidian. Right, how's the ghoul saw looking in Obsidian? If this gets a deck skin before Loki, I will be annoyed as fuck. don't match your colour schemes. That... Uh, DE, uh, hotfix please. What the hell? Come on, DE. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, got to put the ghoul saw in dex mode. He just looks like he's ready to murder everything, friend or foe. And he's at mutation mode while you're in Captura, so he does look sick as hell. But, look man, come on. Abilities don't match the colour scheme. That's, uh, maybe it's just in Captura, I don't know. I'm going to level him up after this, but... Mm, mm. Either way... He's still pretty dope. And to all the people, and yeah, I almost forgot. Another little uh, time to have a rant, a rant, a rant, wherever you are, depending on your syllable. But, look, farming the relics for Nidus, the Strun Prime, the Magnus Prime, are so easy. It's the easiest we've ever had it. Because all you've got to do is just do Plague Star. And by the time I had enough stand to unlock Ghoul Saw, I had enough to get Nidus, Magnus and Strun with spares and managed to do it like that. In the recruit lobby, where people are asking for certain squads, for certain relics, will people stop expecting to be carried? If they're asking for you to have a specific relic and either intact, flawless or radiant, have it, don't come in with a different one and say, please carry me or please help me get it. Go do Plague Star. It's easy enough to do and the relics drop so much. Stop taking the piss and wasting not only your time, but every other player's time. 
And with that being said, uh, thanks for watching, and I shall see you all later.